Jake and Amy Justice and we are here it is October 27th and Jake and I got a little late start with work so we're in here about an hour um, after what we had planned and on our walk in we unfortunately jumped a, a big body buck um, it's not the one we're after which is loppy but um, we're hoping that we can still see some some action tonight and stay tuned <laughs> It's Saturday, October 28th, and I'm back in old in the Old Faithful, uh, one of our favorite spots. I am back after the buck that I saw last weekend called Tank. Last weekend was the first time I've ever laid eyes on him, despite this being the second year that I've had pictures of him. Last year he was all over the farm, a lot of pictures, but I just never saw him. There's another buck that's uh, been on the cameras called Deed, and I have seen him on cameras the last two weeks, and outside of that, I have no history with that deer. But both good bucks, I'd shoot either one of them. Um, gonna get settled in here. It's really warm, about 65 degrees and rainy. You know, on the end of October like this, these bucks are gonna be on their feet, they're gonna be moving, so gonna get settled in and uh, hopefully, Closer to dark here, one of those two bucks, Deed or, or Tank, step out.
Well, I had a good end to the evening there. We had uh, one of our better, younger bucks come out. That was the uh, Skinny 10. He's got a real nice wide frame. Uh, we filmed him back uh, earlier in the season also. So it's good to see him again, but we didn't see Tank and didn't see uh, Deed. So that's okay though. I'll be back in a couple days. We'll keep trying again. Uh, the weather's supposed to get good and cold about the middle of the week. So that plus swinging into November should really get these bucks up, uh, checking more scrapes, moving around a lot more. So I can't wait to get back down here and start chasing November. It is the 8th of October. We are back in the tree up here at the orchard at the property we call the land. It's uh, basically this sets up. It's kind of a north facing slope. We've got a little clover plot here. And we got this buck we've been calling a wick. Been fairly regular. Kelly and I sat here last night. Same condition as last night, except just a little bit colder and a little bit windier. And he's daylight in here. He's in here, so we got a great west wind blowing off my left shoulder here. And he should be coming out just to the south of us. He likes to stay kind of to the lower part of this plot here. So stay tuned. Hopefully we don't get too wet. Oh, 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 
That was him. Holy cow. What? What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, what? Here we go. What? Boom. Oh, I see. Oh, fuck. And pops his head up and oh my god, there he is, dude. This stud. Absolute stud. Just a big eight. I want to call Kelly. Um, it is raining right now, so I'm just going to go check my arrow. That's the only thing I'm going to do. He was slightly quartering too. I put it, tucked it right in his armpit. Uh, he was about 20 yards. So this shot to me looked good. I'll look, look at it on the footage. Oh my gosh, that was wild. Absolutely wild. Okay, uh, it's raining pretty hard right now. Just got back to the truck. Uh, called my buddy with the dog. I think you know it was a little bit quartering too. So we probably got some liver in there. So we're gonna give him at least four hours. Um, temperatures actually are supposed to drop throughout the day. I'm gonna pack my stuff up. I don't have great reception down here, so I gotta go to a place that does. And uh, just wait for my buddy to kind of talk me through the shot with the dog and you know, what he what he thinks. And uh, we'll be back. And you take off right to the left of that eye bottle. Yeah, what's he doing? Done already. Found it? <laughs> All right. Hey, over here. Sick. I tripped him up on the, on the Oh my gosh. These are flies already on him. Holy cow. <sighs> That is sweet. Oh, he was done. <laughs> he was done, huh? Wow. That mass. Wow, oh, these these got me. Ooh. Where? Right Over here. Wow. That is sweet. All right, well here's Wick. Um, Second sit for him, first time we saw him. Couldn't connect and this morning we did. So was a little unsure about the shot. <clears throat> and it just so happened he's 50 yards off the plot here. Want to thank Phil for coming out uh, with the dog just to be safe. Uh, we've had it go the other way real quick. So um, better safe than sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm super pumped. This was uh, just a combination of weather, um, some past history in this plot, and, and the time of year. So it's just time to put your time in and stand. Another key to success here was this plot and how it sets up. You got great access in and out, that's number one. Number two, um, we got some monster buck clover in here. And it's on one side, we've got an old orchard, apple orchard. The other side, we've got a bunch of oak trees with acorns dropping. So. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching Midwest Whitetail East Show.